Hi guys, Mr. Thompson here. We've got this piecewise function with three pieces and we're trying to find a bunch of stuff as far as limits um, with going on in this piecewise function. The big thing to remember is that when I'm looking at a piecewise function, what really matters are the domains. So that, that, and that. Those pieces are cut up in such a way that I'm, ne I'm following the function negative 6 when x is less than negative 2. I'm following the function 2x minus 2 in between negative 2 and 1. And I'm following this parabola when x is greater than 1. Now when I'm doing limits, I don't even actually care what's going on at negative 2, 1, and 1, except for the fact that I need the pieces to be together. So when I read x is less than negative 2, I'm thinking left of negative 2. So everything to the left of negative 2. When I'm reading negative 2 to 1, I'm thinking right of negative 2 and left of 1. And when I see x is greater than 1, I'm thinking to the right of 1. That's going to help me when I do my one-sided limits. So now let's look over here. We want the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the negative side or from the left. When I'm thinking about ha what's happening from the left, I'm only thinking about this yellow part. I'm only thinking about this function, negative 6. So what y value does my function approach as x approaches negative 2? Well, negative 6. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right means that I'm coming in from the right side, which is the blue piece, because I'm just to the right of negative 2. If I plug in negative 2 here, I get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 minus 2 is also negative 6. So notice the limit from the left side and the limit from the right side are both negative 6. Therefore, my limit itself will exist and be negative 6. All right, let's look at what happens at 0. Notice 0 isn't in this list, but that's okay because we can do a limit where there isn't anything funky going on. If I'm doing the limit as x approaches 0, 0 is in between negative 2 and 1, so I'm just plugging 0 in here. The limit for, as 0 approaches from the left is going to be negative 2, from the right, negative 2, and also negative 2. So the point of that is to remember that the limit doesn't have to be at the weird place. We can have a limit where it's not weird, where the piecewise function isn't connecting, where there isn't a weird thing going on. And that's okay, because a limit is just a y value. All right, lastly, let's look at the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. Well, if we're approaching 1 from the left, that's the blue piece. And if I plug in 1 here, I'm going to get 2 minus 2, which is 0. If the limit as x approaches 1 from the right, now I'm looking at the green piece. And if I plug in 1 here from the right, I get 3. Now notice that the limit from the left is 0 and the limit from the right is 3. Since those limits from the left and right are not the same, this limit does not exist because it's not a unique y value. Yes, just like Mean Girls. All right, have a good one.